This is Wendy with the Chugach National Forest Avalanche Center and we're up here at Turnigan Pass on sunburst at around 28-2900 feet on a southwest aspect and about a 28 degree slope. Over the last three days we've had a warm and wet storm cycle come through and over here on sunburst we, are, we have about 20 inches of new snow sitting on the old snow surface from the cold clear period. Right in between the old new interface is a layer of buried surface hoar and small near surface facets. And we just had a pretty exciting extended column test result, so we are going to see if we can replicate that here again. And so we're testing the interface between the new and the old snow on the buried surface hoar. So that was ECTP for propagation. It propagated across the whole column on the 18th tap. This is a sign that this buried surface hoar, you may be able to see it underneath there, but it's about a half a centimeter large and it's clearly inhibiting bonding between the new snow and the old snow. And we're very concerned that if people get on these steeper slopes at Sunburst or anywhere in the mountains around Turnigan Pass, Girdwood, or South, that this funny business is not letting the new snow stick. We want folks to keep their terrain choices under 35 degrees for a safest day in the mountains because human triggered avalanches do our, there is a potential for that with this setup.